So congratulations everyone, India's first flight test vehicle abort mission has been successfully conducted. This mission was conducted in order to see if the crew escape system would separate in case of emergencies or not. This particular test flight showed us that it could. There was a slight glitch before the launch of the mission, but it was resolved as soon as possible. We are going to talk about that and how it all came together from the perspective of GS Mains Paper 3rd and Films. Do not worry about notes because I provide the notes through my Telegram channel that is by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, feel free to talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on my threads. So, flight test vehicle abort mission was conducted in order to see if the crew module which will consist of three Vyomanauts from India, it would separate in case of emergencies or not. Okay, so it was in order to show the crew escape system and the test flight was able to lift off the crew escape system also separated successfully at an altitude and then the landing took place 723 seconds after the launch with the final splash down. So you see it happened this is the ascent phase after a point of time the test vehicle separated and splashed down at approximately 6 to 10 kilometers. And then what happens that the crew escape system also separated. This will consist of the Vyomanauts. And finally, it separated and splashed down at 14 kilometers from Sri Harikota. So this was done in order to see. Before we begin with any mission, we have to be ready with a backup plan. Similarly, like the UPSC, you should have a backup plan. So our backup plan was, if we are going to launch a mission, which will consist of human beings, of course, their safety is of paramount importance. So that is why it was seen from the very beginning that we are ready with a crew escape system because failures can happen. That is why this particular flight was very important. And this was the second attempt because due, if we talk about the first attempt, the engine ignition did not take place. That is why this there was a smoke that was observed at the base of the test vehicle. And it was resolved as soon as possible. And there was a snag in the rocket's ignition earlier. Okay, so because of that, the engine did not start and that is why we had to abort it. The launch was originally scheduled for 8 a.m. But then due to rain, it was also pushed to 8.30 a.m. Eventually scheduled for a countdown for launch at 8.45 a.m. So if I talk about the Gaganyan project, this was actually... Uh, declared by the Prime Minister on 15th August 2018 that by 2022 we are going to send at least three Vyomanauts to the space and specifically low earth orbit and then the crew will stay there for seven days and we will return them back. But then the crew was uh, now it is supposed to be the crew is supposed to be there in the low earth orbit for three days. Okay. ISRO hopes to deploy its biggest rocket GSLV Mark III. GSLV Mark III is the one that has been renamed as LVM3. Okay, it's the same one, but there is a change in the name. So do not get confused between GSLV Mark III and LVM3. Okay, and it would be one of the cheapest manned space flights in the world because our budget is just 9,000 crore rupees. And trust me, when we talk about manned missions, they cost billions of dollars, ask the USA. Okay. India plans to call its astronauts Vyomanauts since Vyom in Sanskrit means space. Alright, now let's talk about this diagram. See, this diagram consists of the crew escape system. This is the crew escape system and this is the test vehicle. The vehicle that took the crew module with itself. And the crew module only was supposed to be separated from the test vehicle. This crew module is actually a part of the orbiter module. The orbiter module that is going to orbit the low earth orbit. And the orbiter module will consist of crew module and service module. Crew module will be pressurized. That means it will have earth like conditions. Service module will be unpressurized. And this particular test, uh, this particular crew module which was used for test, this was the unpressurized system, not the pressurized one. So yes, this crew module will consist of Vyomanauts. And this only had to be separated. When it will splash down in the Bay of Bengal in case of emergencies, a dedicated team of the Indian Navy will recover this. And this test vehicle has been exclusively made for testing the crew module. Because 
if we are going to use gslv mark 3 for this we are going to incur a huge amount of money 300 to 400 crores takes up uh, in the gslv mark 3 all right so this test vehicle was also made for this particular purpose it's newly developed low cost rocket called test vehicle and it is uh, of course it is like one of the things that we are going to one of the rockets that we are going to use to launch the crew module that is the human rated LVM-3 rocket which is an upgraded version of its heavy lift GSLV Mark III. Uh, the probable timeline is 2024. Earlier it was 2022 but ISRO said to the Prime Minister that sir it is of huge importance that we put the safety of the people, the Vyomanauts first. That is why first we have to understand we have to extend the deadline. So it was beyond 2022. Possibly it is not 2024 and even beyond because second test flight also has to be conducted. The new test vehicle has been built by ISRO for exclusively such purposes for testing systems. And instead of waiting for PSLV and GSLV launches to be ready. Also, it is a single stage liquid rocket which has a throttable and restartable L110 Vikas engine which is capable of controlling propellant use. The only previous test flight of the crew module called the crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment or care was done in 2014 okay that was done through the gslv mark 3 rocket why because we not only have to be cost effective but we are also looking at the possibilities of bringing back our rockets as well because a huge amount of money is spent on building rockets and when they are not recoverable that entire amount can be utilized in something so that entire amount can be utilized in preparing or preparation of such rockets which can be recovered back and we can use them again. So reusable rockets. Now why was this particular move significant, this particular launch significant? Because in October, on October 11, 2018, an expedition was going to the International Space Station. Keep in mind that Russia is very important for the ISS. First of all, it corrects the trajectory of the International Space Station whenever it goes away from the particular orbit. Secondly, it has this job of ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Okay, so when there was the Expedition 57 that was going to the ISS, Russian Soyuz FG rocket. When it reached at 50 kilometers altitude, there was an emergency and the crew escape system had to be activated. So the two astronauts that were going to the ISS, they landed on Earth 402 kilometers from the launch site and at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. So this all shows that it is very important to have a hefty crew escape system because the failure of the Soyuz MS-10 mission was the first since 1975 and in its 5, 55 launches, this was the first failure that is why it is important to be ready with a plan the crew module must be safe for the astronauts under any condition high heat and pressure it must have a reliable escape mechanism in the event of emergency more developmental work is being undertaken so that environmental control and life support system can be developed if there is a this particular support system will read the bodily anomalies of the astronauts if there is any sort of problem it will trigger the emergency system and integrated vehicle health management system will be there okay now you have to tell me this answer in the comment box i will also take the names of those students who will answer it correctly which of the following venus mission is not under nasa veritas magellan messenger venus express let me take the names of those students who have answered the last question correctly because the last question i asked in yesterday's class was option C. Mansi has answered it correctly. Thank you, Akhil. Simran has answered it correctly. Ria, Daydream, Dr. Priyadarshan, Krishna, Arun, uh, and also, yes, Atul Kumar. Yes, the data is definitely correct. We are a lot. It's 46 crore. So, thank you so much for watching this class and make sure you answer this as well. Thank you.